hello what's up today this is timothy from omatletimothy.com and in today's video i will show you how to get started with facebook advertisement now facebook advertisement is necessary if you want to reach people faster because if you create a post on your facebook timeline or your business page it doesn't reach people faster than if you run an advertisement now you can see these are some of the posts i've created before you can see this has reached 203 people with six engagements this is not fast enough to make it faster you have to run advertisement now the mistake most beginner make is to hit boost it is good to hit boost but boosting does not have more features than if you do it in the business manager the ideal thing is to do it in the facebook business manager and i'm going to show you how to get started with your ad manager account but meanwhile before you create your ad manager account make sure you have created your facebook page and you have also converted your personal instagram account to your business account and you have also gotten your website is very very necessary if you want to get a website i'm going to provide a link where you can get a website i normally use nameship and their service is very good they have good customer care i'm going to provide a link in the description and in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel kindly do so so that you will receive my next video that i'm going to post which is going to be free and also hit the like button and ring the notification bell so that you will be notified when i upload that video which will be very helpful to you and make sure you watch this video to the end because you will benefit a lot from it okay now to create your your page you just hit on this plus icon and you see page here and it is very simple you will just type the description all right you just fill all these and you are good to go then the next thing is you make sure you go to your instagram and convert your personal instagram account to your business account so that when you are running facebook advertisement you can also run the instagram ad advertisement simultaneously that's the best okay once you have done all that the next thing you will do is to create your business manager account to do that you will type business.facebook.com slash create and you hit enter Okay, now here this is where you are going to create your business account you you just click on this create account and you fill all the necessary things and once you have done that you will get to the next stage let's get to the next stage Okay, now this these are some of my business accounts let's take this one for example okay there are so many things you need to do here to to get it set for your ad to be running 
the first thing you will do is you need to add your page your facebook page and the instagram page so to do that you go to business setting If you are in business setting, at your left hand side, you see pages, you click on page. If you click on page, you can add a page here. And as you are adding a page, you can see, if you click on this add, you see add a page. And you just type the URL of the you just go to your to your page and copy the URL and paste it here okay then the next thing is Instagram account to add Instagram account you just select Instagram then you click add then you see connect your Instagram account you hit connect and it will give you the name of the Instagram you want to connect you can see this is one of my Instagram account if I want to connect this one is already connected so I don't need to connect it again and you are done then the next thing is your ad account this is where you are going to this is the one that controls the money that you are going to pay for your advertisement this is where you are going to add your payment details so that you'll be able to pay facebook after running your ad okay now if you click on add account you it's just the same step that you followed to to add your page you click add and it will tell you to add an account and you just click on that and you are done if you do it rightly you you will get the same result that i have now i think you have gotten it then once you have done that you 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 will add your payment details to add your payment details, you will go to payment and you will add your payment details so that you add your card, the card you want to use. Now, I recommend that you use MasterCard so that you can be using dollar instead of Naira. I prefer dollar to Naira and in my next video i will show you the reason why dollar account is better than naira okay once you have done that you have add your payment your payment method successfully then you can also add people there are so many things you can add here but for the scope of this video let's stop at this then the next thing you will do is to create your pixel to create pixel just click on this and go to event manager if you go to event manager you will see now this is one of my my pixel this is my pixel one of my pixel and you only need one pixel for each account so assuming i have not created before you won't see this you will only see create somewhere here okay but with this now i can also add this one to several websites I can add it to multiple websites this is what will record what is going on facebook will record what is happening on your site the pages that people have viewed the number of people that have visited your website how many people have made pushes 
how many people have opt in their emails this is what controls all that all right now when you hit on that event manager you will be taken to a page like this something like this so all you need to do is to click on this plus icon and you cannot select you have about four options here you have app offline and the one I normally use is web so I'm going to check this and click get started now I'm going to select this this is what I need Facebook pixel then I'll hit connect then yeah this is where I'm going to give it a name let me give it um, two pixel then you will type your website here you will hit continue Okay, now if you hit continue, you'll be taken to a dialog box like this. You have two options here either to install it manually or use a partner uh, software. I normally use manual. With this, you are going to copy the code and paste it on your website so you if you just click on copy now the code will now be copied to clipboard so you will now go to your website dashboard let me go to my website dashboard all right now this is my dashboard what i'm going to do now is i'll click on appearance then I will locate theme editor, click on it. Then when you are in your theme editor, you will select this arrow. As you can see, I have so many theme here, but the theme I am using for this website is Astra. So make, make sure that is selected. Then you will locate header.php which is here and please make sure you know what you are doing here don't don't gamble here because so that you don't break your website you have to be very sure of what you are doing here then you will locate head tag the closing head tag let's try and locate it let's try and locate it okay you can see i have a pixel before let's try and locate that head tag okay you can see this is the head tag the closing head tag so what you are going to do is you are going to paste it very close to the closing head tag you can see the one that has this is the closing tag so you will paste it here and once you control v you paste it you update and leave it so that is all you need to do once you have done that it means your pixel is now installed correctly the next thing you will do is to install event code and i'm going to teach you that in the next video and before you go i like to tell you the importance of Facebook pixel the importance is that it is necessary for you to retarget your audience because when you run ad it's not everybody that will be interested in whatever you are selling some people will not even click on the ad some will click and leave they will not 
visit the next page but some will click on it enter their email and visit the next page so those kind of people you need to target them you need to show them ad again because they have shown that they are interested in your product so if you happen to show them an ad again those people can convert faster than a new audience so that is the importance of facebook pizza then another important thing you need to know about retargeting is that retargeting is very very important and you can get more sales with retargeting than fresh advertisement and there is a software that can help you to do that and it is called AdSite Pro with AdSite Pro you will have more option let me show you what I'm talking about now if you are in your manager your business manager if you go to audience okay this is audience okay now this is where you create your retargeting audience in creating your retargeting audience you are going to click on this and here we are going to create custom audience okay now here we are going to select websites as you can see there are so many options there that you can select now if you select this website you see this all website visitors this is not targeted enough it's not everybody that visits your website that is interested in your product so we just visit and, and click away uh, you, you may not necessarily to target those kind of people but some people will 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 stay in your website read all your blog even visit another page these people are good to be targeted then if you see you see all people all website visitor people who visited specific web pages visitors by this time spent you can see these options as are not is not detailed enough to have a more detailed retargeting options you will need ad site pro in ad site pro you have a more comprehensive options so that the people you are going to target now are the exact people that will likely buy your product that is why you need ad site pro and i'm going to provide the link in the description so that you can get it all right i think you have benefited a lot from this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell so that when i upload the next video so that you will receive the notification and share with your friends thank you for watching the video see you again in my next video bye